freaked out. Probably scared you guys. Don't worry about it. You did the right thing. I just, I called your phone several times and knowing that your daughter was away. It's okay, Tanner. Becky was already awake. This is the second homicide we've had in 14 months. We've had 12 years without a murder in East Bank and now we've had two. Are we sure this is a homicide? Back of the head. Okay. Yeah. The press is going to have a field day on this one. This is all yours, Travis. Do I have to deal with the media? We'll worry about that later, okay? You handled the last one without a hit, so I expect the same here. Well, the last one left me a breadcrumb trail. Any idea yet? Misty Huff married to Gordon Huff, president and CEO of RMD Devices. Hmm. So they have money, even better. Anybody know find the husband yet? I... Um, guys? We, we've got another body over here. community remains on edge today after the grisly discovery of two bodies in a field north of Farm Road 158. Police say they are still searching for leads. This time we're continuing to gather information as we know more will inform the public, but I'd say at this time uh, that's all I have to comment on. My, they make me look like a circus clown. You see that? Why wouldn't they have me change that tie, all the circles and stuff? In my head it looks huge. You know, they use those wide-angle lenses, and then they shoot you from an angle, and your head looks all gross and blown up. Police officers that are doing their job day Do you think it's the out. angle? I don't doubt my team whatsoever. But at this time, I cannot share any other information. I appreciate your time. With each passing day, more questions are being raised about the transparency surrounding the investigation and if progress is really being made. What does she want from me, huh? What, what, what does she want from me? She wants to make us look incompetent. Why don't we just turn the TV off for a minute? I mean, since we're all here now? Gladly. Okay. So before you say anything, I want to apologize for making you guys so worried. Do you, do you see why we're so worried? I do. And it won't happen again. And the other news? I'm really sorry you had to find out that way. But what was I supposed to say? Hey, Mom and Dad, I'm single, I'm living at home, and I'm pregnant. Surprise. Katie, every child is a blessing. Your father and I love you, and we will love this baby unconditionally. I've put you guys through so much. How about this? We've all done and said things in this house that we regret, especially me. So why don't we just let it go? I won't hold on to it if you don't hold on to it. That sound good? I've wanted that for a long time. Sure that nail polish is good for the baby? <laughs> Fumes and all. It's fine. I'm serious. I am too, Dad. It's fine. It's an embarrassment. It's what it is. In the news, on the computers, on the phones, in the papers. Do you know how this makes us look? Sir, you know these things take some time. We can't compromise. You think I'm an idiot, Bill? How long have I been doing this work for? I know you don't have any leads. Our problem is we don't have a clue how to handle ourselves in the public eye. Oh. So you know. 
the city says they ain't going to pay for a PR rep. So you're going to have to come up with a new idea. Because I want this disaster with the press clean up. Give them a new face. Distract them if you have to. But I want this fixed. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Detective Travis, are you busy? Come in. So I heard that your trainee will be handling the media. That should be good, right? Uh, allow you to focus? Sure. What do you want? Um, do you remember that favor that you asked a while back? I do. Oh, well, I actually want to ask a little favor in return, if that's okay, but... It isn't of the professional nature, though. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, if it wouldn't be inappropriate, I wanted to request that you facilitate a formal introduction between me and Miss Tanner. Chris. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what kind of introduction? Uh, personal introduction? <laughs> Person. <laughs> Listen, Caleb. Kevin. Kevin. <clears throat> you have no idea what you're getting into. <laughs> uh, to be honest, sir, I, I mean no disrespect, but I find her intriguing, I mean, inspiring, intuitive, attractive. Okay. Listen, this is not a bar, it's a workplace. Is there just an introduction? Maybe a good word? That's all I'm asking here. I'll think about it. Only because I owe you. Thank you, sir. Uh, have a great afternoon. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, they think she's gonna do a better job than me. Media's gonna eat her alive. I think this is a good learning experience for Chris. You know, Tony saw me on the news, said there's four job openings in Fort Worth with signing bonuses, I mean, nice signing bonuses. You consider moving? Really? I like options. So how did it go at the obstetrician? They ran some tests. We should hear back in a couple of days. She's worried that there might be something wrong because of her history. Please be sensitive. Was she on something when she got pregnant? She's not sure. I can be sensitive. We need to bring everyone back in, sit them down, stare them in the eyes, see if their stories change. Toxicology report's supposed to be in this week. The kid in the lab said he's gonna bring it to me as soon as it's done. You mean Kevin? He's a great guy. He's smart. Also, Gordon's business partner's supposed to be back in the country this week. Yeah, that's if he returns at all. Let's sit down with him, maybe all we need. You think he's involved? I don't know unless I talk to him. Sir, I don't mean to rush you, but I'm supposed to do an interview with Channel 4 this evening, so I kind of need to get back. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just set up the meeting for me. Who do you want first? Start with the sun. Robert. 
Tyler, thank you for coming back in. I know this is a tough time for both of you. Well, Tyler wants to help any way he can, and I'll be here anytime he needs me. Uh, no, the family's very grateful for what you're doing. How are you holding up? I'm all right. It just doesn't seem real to me still, so. I can't imagine. Been very helpful so far, though. We were just uh, going through the transcripts and uh, just needed some clarification on a few details, particularly about the party the night before they were found. Okay, sure. So you said your parents were divorced, that you live with your father and your stepmom, correct? That's right. But your mom was at the party. Party for your dad's company. So I'm assuming that they're on good terms? Well, she wasn't there for my dad. Uh, she was there with Mike, who works for him. Mike Taylor is a business partner. That's right. So why was she there with him? Uh, actually, they're, they're dating now. So it was this big ordeal back and forth about how she wasn't really invited, but then in the end she came. So did you see them interacting that evening, your dad and your mom? to do something for me. Okay. Go tell your dad that I need to reschedule my weekend with you. I'm going somewhere with Mike and I won't be back in time, so um, just tell him we can reschedule for the following weekend. Why can't you tell him? I'd rather not, with his rebound wife hanging all over him. I think she's already drunk. I don't want to start anything with her tonight. See my dad? <laughs> oh, he's inside. He like, it's probably talking business with somebody. <laughs> he doesn't even understand what a party is. <laughs> Thanks. Gosh, isn't he just so cute? I'm not gonna do anything tonight, Chase. It's a party. It can wait. You reallocated 16 units without talking to anyone. He pushed the paperwork through, signing himself, and he didn't mention it until I confronted him. I get it. But you know what it's gonna look like, don't you? Come on. Top grading project? That was his idea. And you and I both know that was a complete disaster. This guy is a cancer, and he is sinking us. Yeah, but he's, he's dating my ex now. Look. I'm not trying to be that guy, all right? But are you sure their relationship started after the divorce? We'll have to cut off his access. And I bet others walk out after him. Are we ready for that? Do it when he goes on vacation. Tell him the, uh, tell him the VPN went down for maintenance. I could meet him at the door when he returns. I won't be in the trouble. Okay. Send it to HR. But this stays between the four of us. No problem. Hey. Mom wants to talk to you. Which mom? 
my mom. So why didn't you travel with Mr. Taylor like you planned? You had tickets. After what happened to my ex-husband? The father of my child? No, um, he needed me here. But the man you were dating, business partner of your ex-husband, still decides to leave the country. This doesn't sound right. I told him to go. A relative of his was getting married. I didn't see any reason for him to cancel. Were you aware his employment status with RMD was in jeopardy? <laughs> no. I didn't know anything about that. Who told you that? I can't share that information, but his termination was in progress. That's surprising. So back to the party, Gordon, his new wife, Misty, she was there. Did you have any interaction with her? No one will even make eye contact with me. <sighs> That's just in your head. Now, lots of people have said they want to see you here tonight. Well, did any of them come? Danielle, can I speak to you for a moment? Sure. What do you need, sweetie? Actually, I was hoping that we could speak privately. Can you have this for me? I'm concerned for Tyler and how he's been handling the changes over the past year. And I know I'm not his mother, and I'm new to this whole mom thing, but I really, really want to do my part to help. Mom, well, that's noble of you. Have you noticed the change in his behavior? Of course I have. I'm his mother. He has medication for it. Right, and I make sure that he takes that. Oh, good for you, really. I've also noticed that he's not too fond of his father marrying someone barely out of high school, especially when the ink on the divorce papers hasn't dried yet. Okay, look, I am not trying to start something with you. I'm concerned for Tyler, and I was just wanting to work together. I see. And who do you think put my son in that position to begin with? I was, I was awful to her. Now she's gone, I'm gonna have to live, thank you. Forever. <laughs> when you spoke to her, did she seem inebriated? No, no, not not at all. I mean, not to me, at least. What about Mike? Uh, had he been drinking? Uh, a glass or two. Mr. Taylor, were you aware that papers had been drawn for your termination at RMD? I knew something was happening, yes. But this was your company. You and Gordon built it together. But he wanted to get rid of you. He didn't like that. Now he's gone. You still have your job and his ex-wife. I know how it looks. I was on a flight right after the party. You can check with the airline. Danielle and I are devastated by this. Really? Why don't you speak freely to me? You know him well? What do you think happened? I have no idea, man. Your guess is as good as mine. No suspicions at all. 
Why don't you take a look at the crime scene photos? Maybe that'll jog your memory. If you want to play games, why don't I have my attorney come join me? Yeah, why don't you do that? How about this? The surveillance cameras at the Huff residence were turned off that night. But isn't that the same surveillance system that you had installed in your office? No idea. You might ask our security guy, Keith. I was very familiar with the security system at the Huff residence. You check it the night of the party? No, sir, I didn't. In light of everything that's happened, I wish I would have. So you knew Gordon for a long time? Plus you have experience in law enforcement. So who do you think I should be talking to? I'm sorry. I haven't really thought about it much. I've had bigger things on my mind. Bigger than the murder of your employer and his wife? Yeah. I've been thinking more about where they are now. I'm sorry you lost me. You were at the funeral, weren't you? They're dead. I'm talking about after that. Where they went. Oh. Were they religious people? I'm sure that would give you some comfort. If you want to get real here, I'm a Christian. I tried for years and years to talk to Gordon about faith. He was courteous. Said it wasn't for him. So yeah, it's really been bothering me. Uh, I understand they were good people. I mean, I'm sure God would let them in. Doesn't work like that, man. Look, I don't want to debate theology with you. I understand your concern. My wife, she's very religious, and um, I, I try. There's this one time I keep thinking back to hoping it means something. Gordon asked me to come over to his desk and pray. What about? He asked me to pray for his son. He said Tyler was going through some really dark stuff. That was it. So we just prayed. Um, Detective Tanner? Okay, first, I'm not technically a detective. And second, it's Chris. You're so right. <sighs> I'm sorry, uh, Chris. I um, had the toxicology reports on the Huff investigation. You have them already? Mm -hmm. What do they say? Uh, nothing out of the ordinary, really. The levels of... Um, Uh, uh, levels for Mr. Huff came back normal across the board. Uh, no narcotics, though there were traces of an angiotensin receptor blocker, but that's clearly from his blood pressure medication, which I'm sure you knew all about. That. And Misty? Anything? How was her blood alcohol? Oh, it was at zero. Uh, no traces at all. Based on everything else, she seemed very healthy. Uh, health nut, possibly a vegan. Oh my gosh, that's it. He lied to us. He did? You are amazing. I am. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I you're welcome. You don't have to say or write anything. It's totally up to you. Why'd you lie to me, Tyler? Now, hold on, Gary. No. Your client has something to say. I know what happened. But you put it on paper. Tyler? You knew how to turn their surveillance cameras off. You're an athletic young man, about as strong as your father. It hurt you, didn't you? Your stepmom. You didn't like her. She was too young for him. Now hold on just a second. Calm down, Tyler. No, Robert, he's got something to say. Let him say it. Put it on paper. Tell me, Tyler. Tell me what happened. Write it down. She 
you took your dad away. You just wanted him back together again. Come on, get it off your chest. My dad was a victim. My mom, she couldn't handle it. And Misty, Misty had to pay. Misty had to pay. Your father too, right? They both had to pay. Your dad and your stepmom. You're trying to get in my head, aren't you? You'll never understand. I'm trying to understand. Help me. Only I can. Help me understand. Authorities tell us that the written confession from 16-year-old Tyler Huff of East Bank provides a detailed description of the night he murdered his parents and dumped their bodies in a field. The outcome of this case can be attributed to a team effort throughout our department and a persistent pressing from the chief for justice to be served. Thank you. Hey, Dad. Can we talk? Sure. Need a break anyway. What's up? I heard back from the doctors, and they said everything with the baby is good. That's great. I just wanted to let you know. I appreciate you telling me. That's all. I'll let you get back to work. Hey, wait. Do you think we're going to get a chance to meet the dad? I mean, if, if you don't know him, I, I don't understand. I, I mean, I'm not trying to. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. It's not your fault. I just have so many questions. You need to tell me something? 